Alrighty, so the United States housing market decline is expected to worsen in 2023, according to Goldman Sachs. Um, the U.S. housing market has been slowing down in the past few months as interest rates continue to climb, um, and they expect home price growth to stall completely, averaging 0% in 2023, uh, according to a, a strategist at Goldman. Uh, in the second quarter of this year, home prices averaged 525k, uh, and to compare last year's second quarter, the average was 473k, and in 2020, the average was 374k. Uh, despite strategists predicting a small decline in home prices over the next year, uh, prices are expected to remain high due to inflation uh, and a limited supply of homes. Uh, higher mortgage rates and reduced affordability are not the only dragging on the housing market. Uh, existing home sales and building permits have fallen more sharply this year, uh, especially in regions where they increased the most during the earlier part of the pandemic. The average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage climbed to 5.6% for the first time for the week ending September 1st, which was a significant jump from one year ago when rates were at 2.8%. In summary, uh, considering everything, Goldman predicts a 22% decline in new home sales before the year is over, a 17% drop in existing home sales, and 8.9% in overall housing GDP. Uh, Goldman projects these numbers to decline even further in 2023 with a 9.2% decrease in housing GDP next year. Uh, despite predicted declines in home sales, the Federal Reserve is still doubling down on their intention to continue hiking interest rates as inflation remains an issue. Uh, according to Federal Chairman Jerome Powell in a speech he made, he says, while higher interest rates, slower growth, and softer labor market conditions will bring down inflation, they will bring some pain to households and businesses. Uh, these are unfortunate costs of reducing inflation. Sentiment from home builders and developers has plunged to its lowest level in two years, according to the Census Bureau. Builders are pausing on construction as building costs continue to rise. Americans are canceling deals to buy homes at the highest rate since COVID. Uh, nearly one in five home sellers are cutting the asking price for their homes in August in an attempt to find buyers. Analysts from Sachs Global Investment Research Team expect 39% of metropolitan areas to experience price decline. Uh, Goldman expects Western markets like Denver, Phoenix, and Los Angeles to experience some of the sharpest declines in home prices next year. Uh, housing markets are even being affected in China. Uh, many people have stopped paying mortgages out of fear that developers can't complete the projects. Many of these projects have been suspended construction uh, for weeks and even months because they cannot fund it. Uh, boycotting has started due to developers not defaulting, which means home buyers are worried that they will not be able to get 100% of their money back. Um, usually the buyers can get deposit down payment back, mortgage payments, and can terminate the pre-sale contract, but only if the developers default on the completion date. Um, residential real estate is likely to undergo a multi-year downturn as the government tries to deleverage the sector. Alrighty, that will wrap up this update on the housing market, uh, according to Goldman Sachs. Uh, it's not looking too good for the year 2023. Um, the housing market in the United States has been going through it. China has also been getting affected. Uh, we have inflation, we have rate hikes, we have pandemics. Uh, there's just so much going on. Uh, the outlook for the housing market next year does not look too good. Uh, thank you for watching, though. I appreciate it.